With our growing population, master planned communities are vital. And John, what should we look for when buying into a master planned community these days? Well, Alan, master planned communities can range from 100 homes on a particular development to maybe 50 homes in a sort of private enclave. Now, the term community can conjure all sorts of images 2.3 children, beautifully manicured lawns bikes on the grass. It could also mean a more mature estate, uh, bike trails, certain recreational activities. The key thing is to have realistic expectations about the type of development. And research is obviously important. Visiting sales offices are very important. Visiting display homes, understanding what community events might be being carried out on that particular estate to help you make the best decision and be the most informed you can prior to moving into an estate. Got to do our homework. Got to do your homework and I think it's very important that the research is done. That's all part of the process when you're looking to buy a home or looking to choose a particular estate. You might find there might be specific things that might need to meet your needs, places of worship, high schools. There'd be a range of different requirements that you need to meet your specific requirements and your lifestyle. And what about this great location oh, we're at yeah, today? It's fantastic, isn't it? Isn't it? Uh, it's wonderful. I get excited when I come to places <laughs> like this. It's a really wonderful estate. And look, as you can see from here, there's some, a lot of HA members that are involved in this particular estate. And it's an international award-winning development. And you're catching up with Tony McKenty from LWP Property Group sure. to take you through all the features and the benefits and attributes of this wonderful estate. And there's no surprise, it's been so successful and winning so many awards. And this really is quality living, isn't it? Absolutely quality. You can see from the estate, you can see the quality of, of the amenities and also the quality of construction. So it's a credit to everyone involved in the development. And I think the viewers on today's program will really get an insight from Tony about what goes into a master plan community, like here at Annie's Landing. Look forward to that a little later on. Thanks, Alan. The HIA is full of members dedicated to making this great city of ours even greater. Go to hia.com.au and remember, with HIA, you're in good hands.